Good afternoon, I'm Aaron Sanders and you're watching Mediaplex Live at One. It was a marathon of a meeting with city councilors spending seven and a half hours discussing the 2015 budget and the future of 80 Knox. The Mediaplex's Justin Prince was there. We're following through on, on uh, the commitment that was made during the campaign. Uh, and it's a commitment that people in this city are not unfamiliar with, and that is uh, holding the line on taxes. Those were the first words sent by Windsor Mayor Drew Dilkins about this year's proposed budget. The budget features the seventh straight year with an administrable tax levy increase and is $300,000 less than last year. The proposed budget plans for $749 million in gross operating spending this year. The budget also plans for $98.5 million in capital project spending, including $26.1 million in new sewers, $14.6 million in new road infrastructure, and $3.4 million in new park projects. The city also plans to pay the remaining $28.4 million in owes for the Windsor International Aquatic and Training Center. Dilkin says developing his first budget as mayor was different than when he represented Ward 1 on city council for eight years. It's a lot more difficult on this side than it is as a councillor when you just receive the budget and, and are, are reviewing it. So, um, you know, you're, you're, I guess as the mayor, more involved in the conversations with both Helga and OC. And, uh, you know, you raise ideas and they push back and I raise ideas and, and uh, <laughs> or they raise ideas and I push back. So uh, it, it, it really is... I found to be at least the first year here a very healthy discussion and um, uh, quite enlightening actually. So, but it, 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 it is different, there's no doubt about it. But according to Windsor Chief Financial Officer Honorio Colucci, the city's tax freezes can't last for much longer. According to the budget, all city departments have been asked to find ways to reduce their budgets by 10% or to avoid any unneeded budget increases. Colucci also says that Along with an increase in government grants and provincial funding, the city was barely able to have a tax freeze this year. He also projects that there will be no overall tax growth in 2015. Colucci says the city can't freeze the tax levy for much longer without affecting the city as a whole. We'll, we'll always try to come in with the lowest possible amount, zero being the ideal. Uh, but as, as you pick a lot of low-hanging fruit, it becomes much harder and so you can offset the the normal inflationary um, shrinkage of, of the value of the money we got to spend by looking at efficiencies and so forth but you reach a point after and certainly I think after seven years we're there where uh, it's going to start uh, being translated to the levels of service that we have. Dilkin says the budget can still be tweaked and adjusted by City Council before being approved. City Council also plans to meet for final deliberations on January 19th. For Mediaplex News Now, I'm Justin Prince. City Council also voted on the future of Windsor's water world. Against the administration's advice, they voted to keep it open until the end of June. The city is hoping the delay will allow groups who use the center to make other arrangements. Waterworld uh, was expected to be closed as part of the business case for the new Family Aquatic Center, and that certainly is a recommendation within the budget. City Council decided to keep the ice pad at 80 Knox open for another year and to speak with its user groups going forward. It was a good news yesterday for a local auto parts plant. The Minister of Finance was in town for a big announcement. Kenny Bullock has our story. NIMAC of Canada Corp announced Monday an investment will be received which goes towards retooling its Windsor plan. The upgrade will prepare NIMAC's production line for the assemblage of two-cylinder aluminum engine blocks for export to Shanghai General Motors, the globe's largest auto market. This investment will also open up 80 new jobs in Windsor and preserve about 200. I'm pleased to announce that Ontario is providing NIMAC with a grant of $1.5 million through the Southwestern Ontario Development Fund. Turning to weather, the forecast calls for a few flurries today and tonight. Tomorrow we could expect light snow with a high of minus 4. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Aaron Sanders and you've been watching Mediaplex Live at 1.